There are three medical schools in Singapore, the Yong Lulin School of Medicine, National University of Singapore, the Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine, the Nanyang Technological University, and the Duke NUS Medical School. Each school is different, each with their unique curriculum, teaching pedagogy, and student life. In this video, we'll go over all three medical schools, give an overview of each so that it'll help you, the prospective students, gain a better understanding of each one. Real quick, just three points before we begin this video. The first is that I've actually created a blog post to supplement this video. It includes way more detail, so definitely do check it out, the first link in the description. The second is that all information found in this video can be found on the school website, so I tried to be as factual as possible. And the last one is that, hi, my name is Jeremiah, I'm a recently graduated politics technique student that has been accepted to read medicine at the National University of Singapore. So as mentioned, there are three medical schools in Singapore. They each fall under two categories, undergraduate medical schools and graduate medical schools. The Yong Lulin School of Medicine, aka NUS Medicine, and the Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine, aka NTU Medicine or LKC Medicine, are both undergraduate medical schools. This means that students undertake the medical course as their first degree. You graduate from the program with a Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, MBBS for short. This is common in countries like the UK and in India, whereby students graduate from high school and apply straight to university. And in this case, in Singapore, they graduate from JC or Poly and then they move on to university to take their medical program. On the other hand, the Duke NUS Medical School is a graduate entry medical school. This means that students that apply must minimally have a bachelor's degree, any degree except an MBBS. At the end of the program, you graduate with a doctor of medicine degree. This is similar to countries like the US and Canada, which both almost exclusively have doctor of medicine programs. The differentiation between undergraduate and graduate level medical schools are very important and is arguably the most important factor for you to decide. For example, if you're already a bachelor's degree holder, it may be more natural and seamless fit to go for Duke and US and if you've recently graduated from JC or Poly you may want to go to the undergraduate medical schools although you could theoretically take a degree and then go to Duke and US afterwards. So starting off with NUS Medicine. NUS Medicine was established in 1905, making it the oldest and largest medical school in Singapore, producing the majority of doctors in Singapore. NUS Medicine ranks highly globally. From the Times University subjects ranking for 2022 for the subject of medicine, they rank 17th. And for the QS University 2022 rankings, it was ranked 21st. The NUS MBBS medical program spans over five years. The first year is spent on learning the normal structures of the body. This includes each of the body systems as you cycle through it. In the second year, this changes to the abnormal structures and functions of the human body. And again, it follows a similar structure whereby you go through each of the body systems. From the third year, students start to transition into the wards. This is where you go into the hospitals and learn directly from doctors in the wards. You start off with a core clinical rotation, whereby you go through stuff like general surgery and medicine. And then in your fourth year, you go through the more specialty rotations like anesthesiology and emergency medicine. And in your fifth year, they go through the student internship program whereby it essentially prepares you to be a junior doctor by going through each of the more important clinical rotations again. During the five years, your learning is supplemented by longitudinal programs which go into stuff like medical ethics, law and professionalism. You also have the option of taking electives which allow you to go overseas for student exchange programs at top universities like Harvard, Cambridge and Johns Hopkins. The teaching pedagogy at NUS Medicine uses the lecture and tutorial system whereby you go to school for lectures and tutorials in person to to further supplement knowledge, you have collaborative learning cases whereby students come together in groups to discuss the knowledge they learn in practical clinical cases to better understand and appreciate what you learn. To learn anatomy, students and the school are very fortunate to have silent mentors which are cadaveric donations. On top of that, they do have virtual reality and augmented reality tools to help them learn. The NUS Medicine campus is located within the main National University of Singapore campus. It is located next to the National University Hospital, which serves as its main teaching hospital. Uniquely, NUS also has the Ellis Center for Nursing Studies, as well as the Faculty of Dentistry. This gives students a very unique opportunity to come together, learn how to work in teams, to hopefully prepare them for future healthcare team settings. In order to apply to NUS Medicine, the school has listed some qualifications which form its prerequisite. The, the first is the Singapore a levels so you do have to have a good pass in chemistry as well as a science either biology or physics there is a list of accredited polytechnic diplomas there's the ib diploma and there's the nus high diploma there's also room for international qualifications which you do have to refer to the website but basically it operates on the principle of at least having one chemistry and another science in biology or physics every year the school receives about 2,000 applications they list about 1,200 candidates to go for their situational judgment test as well as focus skill assessment which can be thought of as their interview process. This gives about 280 successful offered spots with the subsequent 70 placed on a reserved list. 
LKC Medicine is the newest medical school in Singapore. It's formed from a special collaboration between the Nanyang Technological University and Imperial College London. The degree is jointly awarded by both institutions, although it is important to note that this lasts only till 2029, which means that students enrolled 2024 and prior will receive the degree from both institutions. After 2024, the degree will be solely awarded by the Nanyang Technological University. As LKC Medicine is a relatively new school, it does not rank by itself on the world university ranking although its partner university Imperial College London is ranked fourth on the Time Tiger University World Ranking for the subject of medicine 2022 and it ranks eighth on the QS World University Ranking for the subject of medicine 2022. Similar to NUS Medicine, LKC also has a five-year MBBS medical program. In the first two years, you study the integrated science in a medical context, which is underpinned by each body systems and practicals. Years three to five will be posted around hospitals, year three being the core clinical practices, year four being the more specialty clinical practices and year five going through everything again to prepare you for the life of a junior doctor. LKC Medicine also has the chance to go overseas for partner university collaborations at their partner university Imperial College London. LKC Medicine has their hallmark teaching pedagogy called team-based learning TBL. More details of this can be found on their website but essentially a student goes through pre-recorded lectures and prepares for the class before going to school and when you reach school you go through a series of tests starting with individual then group discussions and then facilitated discussions in order to understand Understand the content and crystallize the ideas behind it. In fact, if you want to experience this for yourself, you can actually sign up for mock classes whereby you get to experience it during their open houses. To learn anatomy, LKC Medicine uses plastinated specimens which are preserved cadaveric dissections. They also have an anatomic table which is a life-size table of which you can view the various body parts. They also have 3D printed samples which you can learn anatomy from. LKC Medicine lessons are split over their dual campuses, the first at the main Nanyang Technological University campus as well as one at the Novena campus. The Novena campus is located next to the Tan Tok Seng Hospital which is their main teaching hospital. Similar to NUS Medicine, they also have the same prerequisites which include the Singapore A-level or the Polytechnic Diploma, the IB diploma or the NUS high school diploma. There may be some subtle differences between the two so do check out the website for more details. They also do have though an additional parameter of assessment which is the biomedical admissions test BMAT for short. This is a test that is typically used by Oxbridge or Imperial which is the partner university of NTU. That's why they picked it up for LKC medicine. LKC does not list the number of people they shortlist per year. However, the final cohort size is about 150 to 160 people give or take. And finally, we have Duke NUS Medical School. It was established in 2005 from a collaboration between Duke University as well as the National University of Singapore. So similar to LKC in medicine, you will have a joint degree offered by Duke University in the US as well as the National University of Singapore in Singapore. The Duke NUS medical program is different from the NUS and LKC program because it is a graduate entry level, which means that their degree completes in four years rather than five years. The first year, also known as the pre-clerkship year, is where you learn all the basic sciences and the body system. However, unlike other graduate medical schools, this is done in a year, whereas other schools tend to do it over two years. This is a similar practice at Duke University back in the US. The second year is known as your clerkship year or your first clinical year. You go through the year learning how to take patient history, conducting certain examinations. The third year is what makes Duke NUS unique in that you have a six to eight month long research project of which you embark on. This is due to the clinician plus idea that Duke NUS embraces, which looks into bringing research and integrating that into clinical practice. The fourth year is also similar to the other universities whereby your final year is prepared for you to be a junior doctor whereby you go through the clinical rotations again similar to other universities they also have programs which help you become a better physician a more well-rounded physician on top of that duke and us also has a special md phd program which lasts seven years so instead of the six to eight month long project at the start of your third year for research you expand that into four years this time is used for your phd so your first two years are the same your third year is expanded to four years and the last year so this makes a total of seven years duke and us also has their special teaching pedagogy which is called team lead it's similar to ntu medicine it starts by learning the material by yourself by using pre-recorded lectures and then you come to class take individual tests then you do group tests and then you facilitate discussion to crystallize the idea. Duke NUS is located next to the Singapore General Hospital SGH because of its close ties to Sing Health. Moving on to admissions, students that apply must minimally have a bachelor's degree, any degree apart from the MBBS which is the undergraduate medical degree. On top of that you also have to take admissions tests so you can choose to take either the MCAT which is typically found in the US and Canada or the GAMSAT which is typically found in Australia. On top of that Duke NUS also has a 
very special conditional admissions pathway, which basically means that Duke University has collaborated with various undergraduate universities so that they offer you admissions, conditional admissions, at the time of your undergraduate level. You apply to this pathway by first applying to the undergraduate university. You go through independent selections by both your undergraduate and Duke NUS, but if offered on this program, firstly you receive faculty support from Duke NUS, and although you do have to take the MCAT, you do not need to go through interviews because you did that the first time when you applied for this conditional admissions pathway. So here are some of the pathways. The first is with SMU, the Singapore Management University. This is the most flexible pathway out of all of them because you can take any degree within SMU. So it spans from law to accounting to business. The next is with the Nanyang Technological University and only two degrees are offered from this university that ties up with Duke NUS. The first is a double major in biological sciences and psychology and the second is a double major in biological sciences and bio business. The National University of Singapore has a tie up with Duke NUS but it's only for the Bachelors of Engineering. The fourth is with the Singapore University of Technology and Design SUTD and you can either take the Bachelor of Science or the Bachelor of Engineering and those are the degree tie ups within Singapore. They also have collaborations with Duke University back in the US as well as Duke Kunshan which is in China. On top of that they also have one collaboration with King's College London. Each admissions pathway is slightly different from one another so do check out the website once again. Duke NUS accepted 72 students in 2021 and they do actually have a very interesting feature which shows you where the students come from, what type of degrees they took or what type of score they got so definitely check out the website if you want more information. There are obviously so much more that goes into the medical admissions process which includes portfolios and tests and interviews and scholarships and grants and bonds so if you do want to learn more about these things do let me know and I'll try to make a video on those. Do check out the blog post that I made it's a more comprehensive comparison between each of these universities top link in the description. If you do have any questions do feel free to reach out either on Instagram or email. I was also very fortunate to be offered SMU Law as well as NTU's double major in biological sciences and bio business and those two pathways are tied up with Duke NUS. So if you want to find out a bit more about those maybe I can help. I also leave the links of medical students in Singapore's YouTube channels so that maybe those people can help you out or give you a glimpse into the different medical schools. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.